hooked this little uh, crystal oscillator up again today uh, to look at it with the oscilloscope just to verify that I was uh, at that 13.5 megahertz that that little chip says it's supposed to be at. Um, I just put a neon on this here today and then just one LED on this board here running it on 9 volts but I want to show you this this will go in and out of that high voltage by tuning with this second coil and that's um, got my interest but I just wanted to show this to the folks that um, it's dancing around but the frequency is um, 13 point Four to thirteen point seven. It's not a very good oscilloscope, um, computer-based thing, and it's a sine wave. But this was the spike that um, when I was studying Dr. Stifler's work, the sec exciters had this real tall spike at the thirteen point five megahertz, and. Um, can see that or not but there's the 13.5 and there's all these other uh, harmonics going all the way out here but when you hit that 13.5 when you're tuning a sec exciter that thing goes way up like that and I just wanted to verify that this chip that I did this uh, crystal uh, oscillator was actually doing that and here again I don't know if you can see that but it is um, down. It's a phone camera, so it's not focusing well. But uh, it's dancing around on the scope here, 13.4 to 13.7, and uh, it's got a nice sine wave. That was another thing I wanted to see is if it was putting out a sine wave. Let me take this uh, thing off here, the spectrum analyzer, and that's the real pretty sine wave it's putting out. So it's putting out a sine wave at 13.5 and I, I am getting a, at least 60 volts high enough to light up the neon uh, driving it with 9 volts. Um, that's a sniffer coil. Uh, I didn't attach to the circuit at all. It's just a sniffer coil on the probe. This is the curious thing. Um, this won't do this without that inductor. Uh, TK asked if I just put a 4 ohm resistor in there if this would run it won't. That inductor, that 1000 microhenry choke is part of this circuit and it has to do this whole dynamic here um, is heading off in the direction of a Dr. Stifler SEC unit. Um, a slider I tried taking my chip out and trying to get it to oscillate without the, the crystal and it wouldn't do it. And um, Gary uh, Bluer made a comment that I could put the output of this coil onto the virtual ground and then run it back this way. And limited success with that. This was the better way to go right here. Um, normal. You just come off what they call the L3 coil, AV plug to the top load or the load. And then you couple it with this... Uh, secondary coil and Dr. Stifter did a lot of work using a coupling with coils all different ways to do it but uh, anyway that's what I played with today was I wanted to look at this on the oscilloscope and see what uh, what's going on um, looks to me like the amp draws under 30 milliamps on that thing the best as I can uh, tell thanks for watching